Hey guys, what's up? This is Shane Dublin, and this is part of my mini-series on Mechanism. This episode, I'm going to show you guys how to get energy through various sources. The first way you can get energy is by using a heat generator. Heat generator provides heat through two different ways. The first way is through passive heat generation, which uses lava, and the second way is using coal or any other burnable fuel, so fuel sources. Through passive heat generation, it generates 5 joules of energy per lava block touching it. They don't have to be source blocks, they just have to be around it. So this one will be producing 5 joules of energy, and this one will be producing 25, because all 5 sides are touching lava. While there is fuel in it, it produces 150 joules of energy per tick. So it's quite a bit more to provide it with fuel. Next up we have solar energy. These are a little bit harder to make, but they are produce a lot more energy passively than heat generators. One solar basic solar will produce 75 joules of energy. You just place it on top of a energy or a cable and you have to make sure that it's outside. I guess it doesn't actually need to see the sun. I don't know if that's a bug or not. But it needs to be daylight for it to work. One of them will produce 75 joules of energy a tick. Four of them will do 300 a tick. Just 75 times four. The next source of energy is an advanced solar generator. It provides 450 joules per tick. It needs to be daylight for it to work. And I'm pretty sure it needs a direct path to the sky. Or it should. If you turn it to nighttime, you see that it no longer provides energy. Same with the basic solar generators. The next generator you can make is the wind turbine. It produces energy based on how high it is. So at Y level 64, it produces 125 joules ish. And at Y level all the way up to the top, it produces 478 joules. It's produces more than a solar generator and it runs at all times during the day. It's also easier to make so in my opinion I think these are probably the best way to go for generators. Up here at Y level 250 the max build height you can see these generators produce a lot more energy they're spinning faster and they currently don't have any type of collision detection on the blades that might be a bug you might need to fix it later but this is high as you can make them and they produce 478 joules per tick and it's not my cube is full so they're not producing or sending energy to the cube up next we have the hydrogen generator which is a basic it's a gas burning generator and an electrolytic separator and a water pump. You pump the water into the separator, you pump the hydrogen into these gas burning generators, and then you fuel, you power the electrolytic separator and the water pump. However, this process results in a net gain and a net loss of zero joules. So unless you have hydrogen as a byproduct somewhere, like for multiplying ores, then you probably will not ever use this to produce energy for other machines. It used to be that you could do that in previous patches, however, he has changed it. And last but not least, you have the biofuel generator. The biofuel converts stuff like wheat and saplings and seeds into biofuel and powers the system. This produces 320 or 350 joules a tick and it's pretty easy to maintain and if you have an automated farm or something this would be another good way to produce energy. To produce biofuel you need a crusher simply put a hopper on top or you can just place it directly into the crusher it produces biofuel and then you output the biofuel into the biogenerator and it produces 350 joules a tick. And if you put 
upgrades in here, energy and speed upgrades, you will use hardly any energy. And you need about, I think you only need two speed upgrades in there, or maybe less to keep up with the demand. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. I highly recommend installing not enough items to figure out the recipes because it's just too hard to memorize them. You can also check out the wiki for recipes and if you like my video give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it give it a thumbs down. Let me know what you liked or didn't like in the message section. I'll respond to any questions or comments you guys have. Feel free to share this video and follow me on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, on Twitch I'll be doing Let's Plays and other games. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.